What is going on guys and gals? Crosscut turning back again. Hey guys, I am sorry about the two week absence of any turning projects. Appreciate y'all bearing with me. Uh, the back is not quite at 100% yet, but we are working on it. So um, we're gonna do a turning video today. I know which we haven't done in a while, uh, a couple weeks. So I'm super excited about it. And uh, this video is probably gonna take me a couple of days to, to record because I am not gonna push my back too far to where I can't I can't stand anymore. That's the reason I'm getting started on it today, which is Thursday. Um, so I don't wanna, I don't want to put my back into a position where I'm gonna be out for another week or anything. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it slow, do some turning, you know, rest when my back needs it. So it might take it might take five days to turn this small project. I don't know. The great thing about this, what I'm super excited about is right after I got the grinder, everything set up and I got a little bit of practice in on uh, traditional tools here, a little bit of practice, not a lot. I messed my back up and I haven't been able to mess with any of this. And so I know it's, it's going to be there and you know, I, 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 I'm just, I'm impatient. So we're going to do a little bit of turning today. I've got a uh, crotch from a piece of oak, I believe it is. This is um, from the same limbs that a uh, neighbor down the street had some stuff cut down on. I believe this the same tree that the, the snowman came from. So it's still wet. Still, you can see some cracks forming in it and everything. Uh, so this is going to be my first project. Um, by myself with uh, with hopefully all traditional tools so super excited about that you can see here these aren't probably these probably aren't like the best turning tools in the world um, these are some that I got off Amazon but I got like a full set so I didn't I don't want to go out and spend you know $150 on a bowl gouge uh, and and screw it up learning with it. So this is a half inch bowl gouge. I did uh, regrind it as best I can with a, uh, uh, well, I guess it depends on who you are as to what you call it, an Irish grind or whatever you want to call it. It's probably not, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. It's, it's, it's not the best grind in the, in the world for me. Uh, I can tell you that I've blued it a little bit and everything. So, I mean, we're still, we're still practicing, so. Practice makes perfect. It's what I tell my son all the time. Um, we're kind of the same as if we don't get it right the first time, it, it, it irritates us to say it in a nice way. But I have to tell him and I have to take my own advice. If you can't get it right, the only way you're going to get something right and continue to get it right is by practicing. So that's what we're doing. So welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode. So glad to be here today. Uh, if the echoing, if the this is kind of echoey, I'm sorry, I have my garage door closed. I want... Uh, I want the dog to be able to come out here if she uh, she wants to. She has some separation anxiety, and it's only me at the house today, so um, she doesn't have anywhere else to go bury herself into. So we're gonna get started on this shortly. Like I said, probably won't get this all done today. Y'all all see it in one video, but well, let's uh, let's get started on it and let's see if I can keep from uh, keep from messing anything up with this stuff, shall we? All right, guys, glad to be back. Let's get going.
Classic case trying to do too much. Um, came loose, I got a catch in it. Clean this off again. I'm gonna make the mortise and I'm flipping it around. Uh, I think the, the side's pretty much good. Um, I'm gonna have to do some sanding where all the cracks are, but I'm gonna clean this up, make the mortise and stop messing with it. All right guys, so we got the mortise made again. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it a day with what I've got right here. I do need to, I'm gonna put a little uh, super glue, little CA glue down in this crack right here because it's kind of going into the mortise. Um, let that sit overnight and everything. And uh, we'll, we'll come back tomorrow and I'll probably have to sand it, maybe chew a little bit more up because this, this wood is still really, really wet. So, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be a, a couple of days to get everything turned for me, so. I don't want to push uh, push my back too far, so uh, see y'all back tomorrow. All right, guys, this is the next day. Uh, you see, I've, I've put some some CA glue down in these cracks. I actually uh, came out this morning before I took the kids to school and put a little bit more down this other crack that formed. A couple more cracks, but it's really not that bad uh, as far as out around, which I was very impressed with. So um, I'm going to try to true this up just a wee bit more. And then uh, with the bowl gouge, and then we're gonna try to sand the outside. So I'm just gonna try to get all the excess glue off the outside that didn't go down into the crack. So well, let's get to it.
right, guys and gals, here it is. Um, so, obviously, we still have some, some practicing to do. And that, that's what this was going to be. I, I never expected this to turn out perfectly. Um, but I will tell you, uh, I ended up having to use the, the carbides on the uh, inside here just because I... I wasn't even gonna attempt to try to do it with the the bowl gouge. I just I know my talents aren't that good yet, um, and I, I don't even think my bowl gouge would work for it either. So it's just an extreme at the extreme angles. So on the outside, um, there are some tool marks here. I was having, uh, as you saw, like when it was spinning like this, I was having issues. Um, when I was coming this way, it was just digging further and further in, and I cut so much off of this um so i finally I, I got it right there and and i left it i left it alone i was like i know there's some ridges here and stuff but i was i didn't want to keep going and keep going and then whittle this thing away to nothing so but the finish is what i'm talking about this thing is so much smoother than anything i've ever done and i didn't change anything with the sanding it's just the finish you get off the tool so Super excited. Um, can't wait to try some more. I might have a uh, another piece that I might try. I think I've got another piece of oak over there that I want to try that'll actually be like a bigger, like a normal size bowl. Um, I think what we're going to end up doing with this, or what I'm going to end up doing with this, is just uh, let my wife use it for like a, a succulent or something, like up in the window or something like that, and uh, letting her use it. It's a uh, Something, you know, doesn't take a whole lot of water and she can water it a little bit once a week or I don't know anything about plants. So I'm, I'm talking out of the side of my face here. So um, whatever she has to do, but I think it would be a perfect size for, for like a succulent or something. So, but that that's it. That's uh, the outside. First, the first outside of a project I've done with traditional tools with the bowl gouge and everything. Super, super excited about it. Um actually came out better than I thought it would. Like I said, if, if y'all could feel the difference, uh, y'all would understand my excitement, I think. So, but, uh, that's, that's going to be it for, for me this week. Um, I'm going to call it, call it quits for now. Back, back still hurting. I probably went a little further than I should have today. So we're going to, we're going to call this quits and this is going to be the end of the video. Make sure, uh, if you like it, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff um share the video out it would be greatly appreciated i think uh, as of this morning we were up to i want to say 75 75 subscribers so that's freaking fantastic i i think at 100 100 subscribers i'm gonna i'm gonna do something do a project as a as a giveaway so uh for for 100 subscribers i think that's a good goal um, we'll do that um, 100 subscriber giveaway, and uh, I don't know what the project's going to be. I haven't I haven't thought about it. So depending on how fast we get there, depends on you know how fast I have to decide on what it's going to be. So, but and we'll make a we'll make a video out of whatever project it is. So the uh, whoever wins it can can see it being made and everything. So all right, guys. That's going to be it for me. I appreciate y'all tuning into this episode of Crosscut Turning. I'm glad to be back. Hopefully we're going to be on a regular regular schedule again every Tuesday. And we'll, uh, we'll see y'all next week. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your week. Wonderful day. Um, hope y'all are, are going to enjoy the holidays that are coming up. So spend some time with the family. And uh, we'll catch y'all next week. Have a great one.